Hey guys, I'm Gautam and welcome to Ecomics. So this video will be about my MSC project. So whatever I have done in my masters that I am going to show you and that would be quite interesting. So you, you should have some, you should have got some interest regarding that because my MSC project was on a different topic, different subject like normal, not like normal organic, inorganic physical chemistry. My MSC project was on a new topic, new subject that is, that includes the physical chemistry and you can say physical and, uh, some modern computational techniques okay so that call that that is called computational chemistry okay so in this uh, method uh, what i can do what uh, scientists can do that they can uh, improve the facility of lab that means suppose you are getting some you are having some facilities in the lab and you cannot do your or uh, experiments in the lab because those are very expensive so you can do all those methods that is called trial and error method through computational method okay so that i have done and with my uh, one uh, phd supervisor phd uh, i mean phd scholar that and along with my supervisors professor pratim kumar chattaraj okay and that i want to, I, I am going to show you uh, what i have done and what uh, what was my msc project presentation that i am going to show you so maybe you are not understanding some topics some parts okay that's amazing that's quite okay because the, those things are really complicated okay uh it took nearly three or four months to understand all those things okay whenever i am uh trying to understand those but yeah those are completely new things new version of syllabus so even uh, in future definitely you will have this portion and the significance of the of this portion will be will be very very high in the future okay so with it for the time wasting let's go let's go to the corresponding uh, msc presentation and i am showing you what was my presentation okay and also i will be adding the pdf file or the link of my msc research paper that i was that was published whenever i am i have completed the research i have completed the paper so you can get the paper in the description top and also comment top that you can check out okay okay so just go and check the video hello everyone Welcome to my final year MSc project talk. So I have worked on a computational QSR model study on HET activity against Trypanosoma brassoi parasite using electrophilicity as a descriptor. I am Gautam Pal. My role number is 18CY4002 and I have worked under, under the supervision of Professor Pratim Kumar Chattaraj. So in this uh, complete presentation, I will be discussing these sections. So during my MSc work, I have worked with these programs, these softwares, Gaussian 5.0, Origin 6.0, Padel 2.21, Package, Gaussian Scheme 2.2.1, and the SRD CRRN tool. So my project work is completely based on the quantitative structure activity relationship method. So it's a method that includes the gathering of data and it performs the statistical and computational techniques on those data. So three such statistical techniques methods are quantitative structure activity relationship, quantitative structure property relationship and quantitative structure toxicity relationship. Actually, this activity, property and toxicity, those are called responses and those responses depends upon the chemical attributes like uh, uh, structural properties, physical chemical properties, etc. And also depends upon the property and those are called descriptors, which has some specific information. Each descriptor has each particular specific information about the system. So, such, uh, for example, we are giving some examples of such descriptors, electrophilic parameters, electrophilic descriptors, hydrophilic parameters, electronic parameters, steric parameters, quantum chemical descriptors, etc. So, to develop a QSR model, we need a QSR equation that the response can be defined as a constant and the corresponding properties. Properties are x1, x2 and xn. And we need to define the contribution of each properties by the corresponding uh, terms a1, a2 and an respectively. Now, before going to, into the exact details, let me talk, talk about some introduction and overview that HAT, Human African Trypanosomiasis, is it's known as, it's famous as sleeping sickness. It's a vector-borne parasitic disease caused by Trypanosoma brassoi parasite and it is transmitted by both male and female infected Setsipliis, okay, and it is endemic in African continent. It has two subspecies. The first one, Trypanosoma brassoi gambiens, it is found in the 24 Western and Central African countries and it includes the 98% of the reported cases. The second subspecies, Trypanosoma brassoi rhodians, found in 13 countries in the Eastern and Southern Africa, and it includes only 2% of the reported cases. The problem is that the when the infection is 
in the initial stage that is at stage one it cannot be detected or it doesn't show any symptom so it is drug administration when drug administration is possible but in stage two when drug uh, the parasite crosses the blood brain barrier and affect the central nervous system and other severe condition causes in that stage drug administration is not possible or any such drugs are not present in the market so as the, there is no such drugs so to treat the disease in the second stage we need we have done this work so generally what happens in the lab based experiments there it costs a lot of time and expenses to do the trial and error method for the drug designing but that's why we are using the computer computer aided drug designing method which is cheaper faster and easy to handle and it can uh, be done uh, it can do a lot of trial and error method okay with more efficiency so in in order to do that in order to develop such drugs we have used in our study the qsar model pharmacocohort modeling which are performed on 32 heterocyclic pyridine benzamide benzamide derivatives on the hat activity to develop those qsr models along with this 32 benzamide uh, this 32 pyridine benzamide derivatives these derivatives are taken from the mason datel 2016 study against t brasvi and along with that we have introduced the corresponding descriptors and the 32 benzyl pyridine uh, derivatives are given below so to develop to get the information about the descriptors we have uh, for the 32 pyridine benzamide derivatives performed on the system we have used a uh, hertrifox 631 gd method using Ga gaussian's zeroni software and after that to get to be satisfied uh, to be, to get satisfied we have calculated the uh, frequency and check the frequency or frequency analysis is performed on those optimized structures and check the absence of the any imaginary frequency value which confirms the lowest energy surface on the pes lowest energy geometry on the pes then parallel 2.21 packages were used to calculate the descriptors and coincidence scheme 2.2.1 uh, are used to sort them out by the objective and subjective phase selection manner now to investigate the biological activity of those descriptors i have introduced two new descriptors along with the descriptors present in masson et al study those are electrophilicity index parameter omega and its square so how to calculate that it can be calculated through parse equation okay and from uh, and in the study in the uh, in the masson et al study from the masson et al study we have considered only two model from data set 1 model 1.1 and model 1.2 those are below and those model uh, has the corresponding qsa equations and the corresponding uh, descriptors and along with the six descriptors we have introduced these two descriptors by our own so now we have to take the combinations so before we do that what we need to do we just need to divide the descriptors into three sets based on so that each set contains similar average pic 50 value okay and after doing that we just have to take any two sets as training sets and the third one as test sets and this uh, causes three different different cases after we do that we just need to take uh, three descriptors at a time and we need to calculate all the possible uh, possible values all the for all the possible uh, qsr equations we just to we just need to get the corresponding regression coefficient value and standard deviation value so let's have an example with these three descriptors okay and we get we will get this calculated pic 50 value and we have already experimental pic 50 value from masson little study so after we, we when we plot that we will get the corresponding regression coefficient and sd value okay and we have done this for different different cases for all three cases and these are the total uh, systems total possible systems with those descriptors along with the combinations so now what are what are the results the result is that from the previous table that means this one we have got the model 1 3 4 6 7 and 10 shows the good uh, regression coefficient values greater than 0.6 those are relevant but other models uh, has regression coefficient values less than 0.6 which are statistically irrelevant okay that means these three de descript and from model 1 these three de descriptors are there okay of course so these three de descriptors has excellent uh, key regression coefficient value that means these three de descriptors are quite acceptable and has and shows the highest biological predictive ability so but if we uh, if we uh, remove the rda 50 base descriptor then the r square value dramatically changes and hence the biological predictive ability 
So the, we have we have also validated the same with our SRD CRRN based tool. And with in the in that tool, G, these three descriptors from model one shows that the SRD value is zero, and that means it has these three descriptors and the corresponding regression equation value, uh, QSR uh, equation has the best predictive ability. Following followed by the other model, we has. 347 has 6.2% SRD value and 12.50% SRD value for model 6 and 10, which, are, which comes in uh, to, to second and third position to predict the biological activity. So, what can we conclude from here? The conclusion would be like that that the incorporation of the electronic parameters like omega and omega square is quite acceptable and it has a great influence in determining the biological activity of the compounds. And some descriptors like RDF 50 base, it's a very important descriptor because when we uh, in uh, it replaces these descriptors with omega or omega square, the corresponding irrigation coefficient value dramatically increase, decreases. Okay, that means it implies the importance of the RDF 55 as descriptors. If we see model one, so we can see that these three descriptors has the base predictive ability and hence, and also as the SRD value is zero from SRD CRRN tool, we can uh, say that these des three descriptors show will have the best biological predictive ability. Okay, and can be used to uh, to uh, to have idea about the drug synthesis. Other models like three four seven and uh, model six ten comes to the second and third position with different different SRD value. So that that is what my MSc product is. So for that, I just want to thank you, my supervisor, respected supervisor, Prof uh, Professor Pradeep Kumar Chatras, for his guidance. Okay, guidance, close supervision, and continuous support. I would like to thank to my uh, HOD, previous HOD, Professor Manish Bhattacharya and the I, I also love to uh, thank you my faculty advisor Professor Shobhashari Mitra and all other faculty members of IIT Kharagpur Department of Chemistry. I am grateful to Ms. Ranita Pal and Mr. Gaurari Jana for their assistance and the essential experiences for their assistance and their valuable time and friendly environment in the lab. I would like to thank to my all classmates, lab mates, and finally IIT Kharagpur for providing me the platform. And finally, I would like to thanks again to all the members, all the people for their valuable guidance, time, care, cooperation, and wonderful company during this two, one year master's project. Okay. So thank you. Thank you so much.